Okay, so this is going to be a quick one. Yesterday morning at about 6.30, the power went off at home. Uh, they didn't tell us shit, but then when I go and look on Twitter, City of Johannesburg says that, uh, no, it's a planned outage and we're doing work and we'll be as quick as we can. However, you'll be back at four o'clock. Cool. So everything planned for the day, gone, of course. So four o'clock comes, goes, 4.30 comes, goes, five. Right about 6, 6.30, the power comes on in the complex where I live, yet my house stays dark. Everything checks out. The DB board checks out. I go to the big switches in the complex. That's up. Um, get hold of Quinton, one of the guys in the complex. He's an electrical engineer chap. He comes to check. Everything checks out. My power's still fucking off. So I have to get an electrician in today and hope it's not the cable that runs from the main switch under the floor or out of the ground to my house because that just sounds expensive. You know what I mean? So... Yeah, no power at home since yesterday morning, 6 o'clock, and it's now going 7 o'clock the next day. Uh, obviously, fridge is a concern. Annoying, but okay. I've got two fish tanks, which is not great for temperature and all of that. Um, but hey, what can you do? So four, just after 4 this morning, I drove to Mug and Bean, which is a 24-hour coffee shop close to us. Um, I got some coffee, and now I'm at the office charging everything because everything's fucking flat at home. Everything. So... I've now got a meeting, meeting you, Han, in about 20 minutes from now, and then um, a guy from Thornybush, we're just talking some marketing ideas and things, at a coffee shop up the road, so I'm going to smash a couple there and breakfast, because I couldn't have breakfast at home, and I couldn't charge anything at home, so everything is on charge now. Um, so a sense of humor, yeah, not amazing this morning. Anyway, I'm about to start uploading some images. I got my old hard drive back, um, the one that I from my laptop that broke early in December. So I've got some new videos coming out with Alan, um, Andrew Dankwitz and I doing some Q&A stuff, uh, learning that now. And then also, I posted a reel on Friday, I think, with a scene from the Mara where a zebra pulls, a, uh, uh, sorry, a crocodile opens up a zebra's stomach in the river and the zebra runs away and it's all gross and stuff. It's nature. I'm not going to get into that now. I'm going to be recording a video just with some very real and honest thoughts about this because some people have no idea that yet they'll argue you on it. And it's like, you know what, Corin? I mean, you're sitting in your house in Oklahoma somewhere and you're trying to argue me on why we should get someone to come and save the zebra or why I didn't get out of my fucking car and go and save the zebra. Let's think about it. Crocodile, open zebra stomach. Jerry going to say, listen, Jimmy, stop the car, please. I'm going to quickly get out and push the zebra's guts back inside and hope the crocodile really... So yeah, I'm going to record a video straight up later on today just with some thoughts on that because damn, we've got to stop this. People, oh no, the crocodile's evil. No, the crocodile's not fucking evil. He just does what he does. That's what he does. He eats things. Oh, why do... Why, why, the lion shouldn't eat the zebra. What's he supposed to eat? Fucking grass? Fascinating. Anyway, I think it's my lack of caffeine that's making me a tad grumpy this morning. So I'm going to end this one. Um, and then just keep an eye on the feed. I'll post some videos later today, some Q&A stuff. And then later today, I will record a video just with some honest thoughts on this whole thing of predators aren't allowed to kill and eat other things because then it's not right. I need coffee. My name is Jeremy from Wild Out. Bye.